Hello and welcome back to this liver key tutorial. I just want to show you some of the useful tools and applications that are on the liver key and show you a practical use for specifically the one application which is dealing with PDFs. You can see here that I have just a standard PDF and I'm going to just left click on it and open it up. So typically you have Adobe Reader loaded into your computer and you're able to open up PDF documents. Well, say you wanted to fill in this document, but you didn't want to have to print it off and then write onto it. And you see, there's really nothing I can do to this document to try to add anything to it. You can add text boxes or like a sticky note, but you can't just, you know, double click. You can't do anything to add anything to this document. And I want to show you one of the applications on the Liberty Key that can help you to actually type into PDF documents, which has been very useful for me in my academic career and also in my professional career as a teacher. So first of all, I do want you to double check that you have your file associations enabled. And that is, remember, you go to the Liberty Key Tools, File Associations. And typically it would say Enable File Associations. Mine are already enabled, so it says Disable File Associations. And the reason why you want to do that is because then you can go over to your PDF and right click and then you'll have these extra options up here and you'll have this option of opening with and you can see that you scroll over it and it gives you Adobe Reader or the Liberty option which is PDF Exchange Viewer and I would like you to left click on that. Here you have PDF Exchange Viewer and one of the great things about this is that even though this is still a PDF document you are able to type into it. You can see here there is this typewriter option. And I want you to click on that. Now anywhere you want to type you can go ahead and do that. So positions desired, go ahead, move your cursor down, left click, that creates a text box. And you can just go ahead and type right into it. Next, you want to go ahead and add in your name. and so on and so forth. So you can just go ahead and add in your text straight to the PDF document. I'm going to pause now and allow you time to work on adding text to this document. Okay, so now I want to show you some other options that you have with this PDF Exchange Viewer. So now after you have typed some text into your document and say it's not exactly in the position that you want it to be. You see this hand tool up here? This hand tool will allow you to select the text that you've just placed into your document. So you left click on the hand tool and now you can go over the text left click and you can see now that you can move that text to whichever position you would want. The only other thing that I want to make you aware of is that sometimes when you're typing into a document you might need the text to be smaller than the typewriter option. And I want to show you 
how to make it be smaller. So say you wanted to type into these very small lines here. This is what you would want to do. Left click on your typewriter and go ahead and type in your information. So you can see here that intermediate unit one, it fits, but maybe you want it to be a little bit smaller. So you would select your text and then right click, come down to where it says text formatting and you can choose this superscript option left click and you can see how that has now made your text smaller and the only other thing that I feel you need to know right now is how would you get rid of text again you would use your hand tool and just select the text and simply click on the delete button on your keyboard and there you go it's gone Say you accidentally delete something, there is an undo button, which will bring the text right back. So there you have it, PDF Exchange Viewer, very useful tool for filling in and changing PDFs. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.